Comics of 100 Years Ago, February 3rd, 1918. It's Crazy Cat by Harriman. One. Oh, ho, ho, either somebody has broke out or else somebody has broke in. Officer Pup finds that a dobie brick is missing from that once impenetrable Bastille, the county jail of Coconino. Two. And so, Warden Woof lines up the inmates, calls the roll, and finds all present, thereby deepening the mystery. Yeah, present, not absent. John Finnegan, Otto Wishes Greyhound, Manny Meow, all here, officer. No breakouts as far as I can see. It's funny. Three. Don Coyote, gentleman of invisible means and subconscious mind, pauses in passing with his man, Sancho Panzi. Yes, Don, it's a big mystery. In fact, it's got the whole police force baffled. Ah, oh, considering the police are baffled, I should say it'll prove no mystery at all, eh, Sancho? Quite so, Don, quite so. Four. Dropping a question here and a question there, we seem to arrive nowhere in this tale. Have you sold any bricks today, Mr. Kelly? Not today, sir. It is a brickless day, you know. Colin Kelly, dealer in bricks of a vintage. Five. Wild suspicion runs rampant in this stanza. Oh, what an unhappy cat I am. These brickless days. Oi, oi, oi. Follow him. What? Follow crazy? Well, he's the most honest person in these parts. Anyhow, follow him. Six. Hist. Seven. Pow. Oh, all is yet well. Finis. Officer Pop, do your duty. Second. Eight. Post Finis. Very clever capture you made there, Officer Pup. There's a reward of four bits in it, you know. It was a mere nothing, Warden, a mere nothing. Two bits of that reward for my master, Don Coyote, you know, Officer. Give me the eighty cents, Crazy. I'll see what I can do with the judge. I hope the judge will forgive him. The end. <laughs>